Right, welcome back to the uh, Iron Monk, the 509, the dry hopped uh, citrus pale. It's a 6.4%. I do know we said it had um, grapefruit and lemon. Uh, in the video, I by the time you see it edited, I already contacted him and got a whole list of rundown. Uh, while I was at Iron Monk, a uh, group of people. What? I was just turning my foot. Oh. While I, was, while I was at Iron Monk, a group of people, uh, you know, stumbled into, not literally stumbled, but they came into the, the brewery and come to find out, uh, one of them was Travis from Dead Armadillo Brewing. I've never had anything from Dead Armadillo. I've seen their their product, but I, I gravitate towards crowlers, growlers, and singles. I don't have the option for singles, crowlers, and stuff like that where I'm at, so... When I buy beer, I have to buy it by the four or the six, just to even try it. Yeah. And I've bought several Dead Armadillos. Okay. Um, I've had their nine band IPA. It's 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 pretty good. Um, I had one other. It's a different IPA. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. I've probably got a can on top of that. I walked at the house, but I don't remember what it is. Um, this is their Inland Porter. It's a robust porter, six point three percent, thirty one IBUs. Uh, they're talking about the Hanson Brothers, which I've had their mm hops, and apparently they have another one coming out. Mm. I'm not going to read the tasting notes because we know we like to dive in blind. I remember I watched your uh, your mm hops review, but I don't remember how how it was rated. A long, long time ago. I thought it was pretty pretty damn good for. Yeah. You know, a 3.2 percent IPA. Yeah. There, there's a liquor store that's. About seven, 17 miles, something like that from the house, 20 miles maybe. Um, they have a, they actually have a really good selection of local beers, but that's not for me. Chocolate and coffee. Mm -hmm. But they don't have any singles or anything, so me and another guy from work went in and, you know, I bought, I think I bought three, four packs and he bought three, four packs and then we just kind of mixed them all up. Yeah. And I ended up with a couple of the, the mm hops. And they, they were actually pretty good, you know, for just, it, may, it was just kind of a, a basic kind of thing, but yeah. I liked it. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting, I'm honestly getting a milky lactose kind of a smell, but I don't think it has lactose in it. It does, it smells real, real creamy. It's, it's weird, it's got that, that milk chocolate creaminess, but then in the end it's got that cocoa kind of a bitter kind of a dryness on the tongue. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's definitely, I want to say it's different than any porter that I've had. Yeah, it's it's more chocolate forward than it is. Yeah, definitely. Than, uh, than it is coffee. I mean, to me the coffee's there. It's just the, the chocolatey, creamy stands out way more than the little bit of coffee. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's fine by me. And 6.3%, I mean, that's, that's not a slouch. Mm. I'd probably say, to me, it seems low fives. I don't seem... And right at first, the carbonation to me seemed a little excessive, but then it just it dies off really quickly. It doesn't give you that sting, that burn. Mm -hmm. This is something I would get a gigantic mug and pour two cans in it and try to savor it. Get a little bit of warmth on it. Yeah, I bet we let it warm up a little bit. That would be real good. I've got a mug at home that I bought just four beers like this. Oh, yeah. It'll hold damn near three 16 ounce beers. <laughs> Shit. And it weighs about four pounds. Just four. solid glass. Yeah, that's one of those ones that you throw in the freezer, but yeah, I, don't. I, don't, I don't do that. No. Yeah. That's really creamy. It'll take a little time from the carbonation, then that dies away really quickly. A little bit of bitterness, a little bit of stickiness in the back of the throat. Yeah. It's almost like 
I don't know about you, but like Mountain Dew makes my throat like feel sticky kind of. It's kind of I mean, like that, but it's not as bad. I mean, I don't drink Mountain Dew for that reason. So, and this is every couple of sips, you're like, <laughs> you're going. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a 1984 TV getting bad reception. It's like, Channel 3, come on in! Go outside and spin the antenna. We're almost getting the adult channel! <laughs> Is that a leg or a penis? I don't, <laughs> I don't care, I'll just I'll use imagination. Oh man, the other day after work, my son, he's nine, was watching Big Daddy, the Adam Sandler movie. Mm -hmm. And that part in there, he's like, I get Cinemax on my TV. He said, it's kind of blurry, but you can make it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, about two or three years, <laughs> you better turn off that Wi-Fi to his, to his tablet. <laughs> yeah, well, they're grounded from those right now, so. But yeah, uh, the other day, I was sitting in the living room, and my boys come walking in, and they said, hey, what's that guy's name that uh, your friend that does the beer on YouTube? Oh God, he doesn't need to be seeing these. Well, he, I told him, and I was like, why? So he ran back to his room and got on the YouTube app on his Xbox One, and I could hear me and you back there talking. And I walked back there, I was like, really, you guys are watching this? And my youngest son, he just thinks it's amazing. He's like, Dad, you're a YouTuber now? <laughs> oh my God, they're four, and they watch like all the Minecraft vloggers and- Say, son, I'm, son, even Steven's nobody important. He makes $2 a month. <laughs> Seriously, man, I would I would clear. I'm not supposed to say this on YouTube, but I would clear a hundred dollars in probably four or five months. I and mean, that's that's nothing, but I only got a thousand something subscribers. So I mean, I literally shut off my ads. So any future videos don't have ads, but you know the older ones do. So I mean, it's, it's not worth making you guys sit through a 15 to 30 second bullshit video to watch average two minutes and nine seconds on my channel for me to get two dollars a month. It's a joke. It don't bother me now if you want to get that two minutes and nine seconds. I usually yeah, you can go to your analytics and see the average watch time is literally two minutes and nine seconds on my channel. So I should do like, you know, a fast video where you just crack one open, pour it, drink it, and say, all right, good, see you later. Like, there's your video for the day, two minutes and seven seconds of me talking about this beer that I just literally paid eight dollars for. Right. Enjoy. Thank you. Two dollars a month. So the guys from Dead Armadillo, thanks for watching me, bitch. <laughs> really like this beer, though. Yeah, you done a good job. And a porter. I'll go buy a four pack of that and throw it in the drawer. Now I'm a dipshit when it comes to talking about hops and so forth and malts and all that. Sure, it's called victory. Now chocolate malts, I can understand. You, you know, you got to be kind of brain dead and not understand that. You got to have a negative heartbeat. Um, caramel? Yeah, sure. I'm not getting a caramel finish, are you? No. No, I'm getting more of a coffee finish. Chocolate up front. Chocolate up front, coffee finish. Yeah. I don't really get any caramel. Yeah. Warm spice notes, I can understand that. Um, like the five bean. Mm. I drank three of those last night. Damn good, damn yeah. good. Uh, the Challenger hops. Okay. <laughs> don't know what that is. Sure. It's hops. I just tell you if a beer is good to me. My four or something, five years of drinking craft beer, I'm letting you know how I feel. Um, yeah, I spun last, you know what it's been? Four Porter, I think it's pretty damn good, and I could sit down and drink a four pack to myself and probably throw it by the next day. I'll go ahead and give it that right there. I'm going to give it a nine and a half. Exactly what I said. Yeah, nine and a half, and it's, it's, it's damn good. It's different than any porter that I've ever had, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I would have gave it a 10, but that initial carbonation yeah, it, it, is yeah. kind of excessive. That's why I said I'd like to take two cans and dump them in a glass, because by the time you get down to the end of it, carbonation is probably gone. Yeah, same here. So, there you go. Uh, Travis from uh, Dead Armadillo, thank you very much for tossing me these beers. And uh, I definitely keep my eyes open for... Any four packs, I mean, I might be stuck buying them, but you know what? If they taste as good as this, that'd be a four pack worth buying. The little tiny liquor store close to my house actually has three or four different dead orbital beers. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Well, we got two more in the fridge, so. All right, we'll be seeing you.